day everyone for this morning I'm going to prepare chicken cake a chicken cake which has lighter and fluffier in texture once everything has been already measured then you are going to combine all the needed ingredients the first is the dry ingredients mix it in the mixing bowl so I have to add here the flour first. After the flour, followed by the sugar. Next is the leavener, which is the leavening agent. And lastly, the iodized salt. So it's good to use the it has a fine texture and it can easily dissolve. So, you are going to combine these in dry ingredients thoroughly before adding the liquid ingredients. The flour mixture. So, this is the flour mixture because it is the combination of all the dry ingredients. Once you notice that the batter is already fine in the mixture, then you have to stop the electric mixer and scrape down the bottom sides of the mixing bowl in order to properly mix the flour mixture or the all the ingredients. You need to scrape the bottom side of the bowl also. Yeah. So then, after that, beat it again for a few seconds. And then, you have to stop it. your what we call butter batter. The next step is to prepare the mirror. So set aside this butter for a while while waiting for the mirror. When you look at the mirror now is already perfect when it will see this peak of the mirror no and then when you invert it it will not fall down so because of the presence of the cream of tartar okay, I'm going to add the mirror and the butter so there are two ways you can add the batter into the meringue or the meringue into the batter. So for me, I am comfortable adding the meringue to the batter. This time, it's, I'm applying the cut and fold method as one of the mixing technique. No? So do not stir. You are going to apply the cut and fold method. So cut, fold using the rubber scraper. Cut, fold, cut, fold and repeat it until the mixture will be uniform in color so you will stop only when you notice that the mixture of the meringue and the butter are already mixed together so it's good to use the big mixing bowl 
so that you can perform your work properly and efficiently. Now I have here this meringue and butter mixture. I'm going to pour this mixture into the tube pan or the cake or the chiffon cake molder, three fourth full only because there is a leavening agent so it will, so that it will not overflow. So you have to make sure that the measurement is only three fourth full. Ready to bake. The pan has been preheated earlier for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this time I'm going to bake now the butter mixture. So you have to remember also that the mixture should be at the center of the oven so that the distribution of the heat is even. Now and when they cook it is also uniform. So I will be baking it for about 30 minutes. Then with the temperature of 160 degrees Celsius. At this point in time, I am freaking the chiffon cake using a cake tester to test if the cake is already Done. As you can see that there is already no food particle attached on the cake tester. This means that the cake is already cooked or baked. So this is our freshly baked 